Hey, this is Mark, and I'm going to be working on an iPhone 6 Plus uh, that has long screw damage in all three holes. <sighs> Great. Um, we in the industry call these porn star phones um, because they've been screwed in all three holes. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this one usually there's really not much to worry about over here. It's really rare that there's actually damage to a trace in this area. Um, the same with this one. This is a little more common. There's a video trace that runs right along here. Um, and this screw bracket, if it starts to lift and delaminate the board, uh, it'll damage that trace. This, however, <laughs> this fucking nightmare over here. Um, this is where all of the real damage occurs, and this is by far my least favorite hole to fix in any iPhone that gets long screw damage. Um, I mean, this, this is a mess in here. It looks like somebody took a handful of spaghetti and threw it on the board and was like, okay, that's how, that's how our traces are gonna be. Um, and if, if any Apple engineers happen to uh, watch this video, um, thanks guys, thanks. That was very, very thoughtful of you to just put a handful of spaghetti down in the center of that screw hole. I appreciate it. Um, actually, I, I guess I do kind of appreciate it because um, it pays the bills. <laughs> All right, so um, the story with this phone is uh, it just doesn't boot. And the reason it doesn't boot is because uh, there are critical traces under here that are either severed or grounded, um, which are uh, data communication lines between CPU and some other parts of the phone. Um, and Basically, the, the CPU wants to talk to some things that it can't talk to, and it's not going to boot until it's allowed to. This is, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's that sponginess that I've talked about before. Oh yeah, all the way around this, ah, man, <laughs> I, I know what I'm in for here. You, you guys watching this probably don't. Um, these things are fucking brutal. We'll see though, maybe, maybe this one won't be so bad. That's what I tell myself every time. Every time one of these six plus right side long screw damage. Um, maybe it won't be that bad this time. And sometimes it's not. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, uh, the EMI shield over the CPU uh, because it's just easier for me to work with it that way. I often have to expose you know, peel back the uh, top layer a lot farther than you'd think, really. Um, so it helps to have this off and it gives me a little bit of extra room to work with when I'm trying to find good parts of what's left of these traces. Might not have to though, it's not spongy. If it was spongy in this area, I would have to wick that off and expose all the way out to here in order to get, um, you know, the goal is for the traces you're soldering to, to not be in delaminated areas because those are weak as shit and are just gonna fail again or, you know, 
fall apart while you're soldering on them. It is easier to work on this with that shield gone though. All right, so see how that's light colored? If this, you know, wasn't delaminated, that would all be colored like this over here, like this dark kind of brown. Oh, look at that, the delamination going all the way up to the cap here. Man, I've had them do that before. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, God, it really goes out there. All right, so the the this top ground layer is connected to some ground that's in the second layer that's in these random spots. Um, and I'm not really worried about ripping that up. Uh, as I've explained in other videos of mine, um, those are thermal vias that are just helping heat transfer down into the board, um, you know, through different layers of ground. So it doesn't really matter if they get screwed up because they're just ground. But man, you can really see how delaminated this board is. This is, this is a mess. I have seen worse though. I, I am thankful that I'm not pulling up chunks of, well, not yet. I guess I could still, just chunks of that second layer coming up. I've had them where they were really, really bad and I was only left with little nubs all the way around the edges to work with. Uh, we'll see how bad this is. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad. And this is more of that ground. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares about you, ground. So I'm just trying to just l lightly scrape, just taking off a little bit of material at a time. Um, I do have to be careful because if if the trace is is inside of this delaminated material, like right there, I think that trace is inside this delaminated material. Um, I'm going to end up breaking it off, um, and really, you know, that's that's sometimes the best thing to do because it's going to be weak anyways, and you know, it's just. A, a thing that could fail after it leaves. So, um, really, what you want to do is is just scrape all of the delaminated parts out, and don't try to just get away with leaving some of it in there. That's again, that's ground. Doesn't matter. Just get rid of him. This too. But that was a trace, but it's a weak-ass trace that I don't want to solder to. I have to expose a little back here just to make sure I've got plenty of good trace to solder to. forget how many traces are in this area, um, but it's a lot. I feel like it was like 10 or more. All right. So most of this stuff is looking okay. Um, but now I'm going to have some problem right down in here. I 
There we go. Well, there was a piece of trace that was just hanging on by a thread. Let's see if if I don't solder, you know, if I just leave these ones that are just barely hanging on, then I risk, you know, the person getting it back and having just like the slightest little drop, and then all of a sudden it doesn't boot anymore. And they're like, well, I just sent this out to Mark to get it fixed. And I bet that asshole just put some piece of gum in there. Um, it didn't really fix my phone. So it's best to just, just fuck up any delaminated shit and then fix it. All right, so I think I'm good on scraping here. Um, I kind of want to show you how fucked up this whole area is. Um, this particular one, there isn't as much that I have to fix, but the very first one of these I did, I had to fix every trace here. Um, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, and I don't wanna actually expose all of the copper so that it is really obvious and stands out because I risk, you know, the more I scrape, the more I can damage. But you've got like a via here with a trace that runs down and ends at a via here. You got a via here with a trace running that way. You got a trace running this way and down here and ends at a via here, or it keeps going after that via. Um, another trace here running this way next to that one. Another via there and it keeps going. Um, and then you've got traces running from here and here over to this you know, angle and down that way. This one goes over and ends at a via right there. Um, and then you've got traces running out here to a via there and a trace running from here over and back up and over this way. So <laughs> they're, they're fucking everywhere. And uh, it's when it's, when the damage is really bad, like you can see that this, you can see why I hate this one so much, but this particular example is going to be, um, easy actually i'm going to i'm going to say it i'm going to call it easy this is this is an easy one yeah what do you think about that this is what they look like when they're easy all right where is my trace repair wire there we go Hmm, 17 minutes in. I'm sure I can get this done before the 30 minute mark. That way I don't have to combine video clips because the stupid fucking camera always stops recording at 30 minutes. My mom says I gotta stop saying fuck in my videos because it's unprofessional, but I think she's full of shit. Uh, there's the Hako song for you. Uh, and love you, Mom. You're the best. Fucking love you, Mom. All right, just getting my iron ready, tinning the tip up, and... Um, when I do this kind of work, I use a tip tinner on my micro pencil, and then I tin the tip really well and get a big blob of leaded solder on there. But then I wipe that back off, and what's left is really all I need. And it's not that much. All right, so which ones need to be fixed? Uh, that one's good, this one's good. This one's good. Ah, this one needs to be fixed. I can't stress enough how like super 
simple and easy this is. Like, it's just that easy. You just, you stick the wire down and then you're done. And then you stick another wire down. I don't know why everybody doesn't do this. I definitely didn't spend like, I don't know, a week or more on my first one of these cussing at it and wondering why it wouldn't do what I want it to do. <clears throat> definitely didn't do that. Just totally came natural and I was like, man, this is super easy. There, see? Two down. I got one left. And kind of a dumbass because if I hadn't have been talking and not really paying attention to what I was doing, I would have done this other trace first and not had to worry about undoing the trace I just did. Now just add, add a little bit of difficulty to it. There we go. See, that was that was much harder that time. And I think it's time to add a little bit more solder to my tip, which means that I completely like drench my tip in a blob of solder like that, um, and then just wipe it off. And what's left is plenty. Gotta get some new tips. I wonder if there's any Hako people that will end up stumbling on this video one day. Um, if there are, you should definitely reach out to me and uh, offer me like free equipment for endorsing your products because I use the shit out of them and I love them and uh, the tips are fucking expensive sometimes. And it'd be great if I could get them for free. All right, so I think those are the only three traces that needed to be fixed in this phone. Um, I think we're gonna get away with not even dealing with this guy over here or this one. Um, and that's because they're not spongy. I can push down that, yeah, it's a little spongy, but it's spongy on that side. Um, and I'm not really worried about that. That's a little spongy over here too. But still, I'm gonna be optimistic and say, there's no other traces damaged, this phone is fine. Let's see if I'm right. shit. I'm not right. Damn it. All right, well. <sighs> Only at 18 minutes. I must have read that wrong last time. There's no way it's been a minute since I checked that last. And the, uh, like, the camera that I have here, <clears throat> like the the viewfinder LCD panel thing is pointing back at me, but it's upside down. So <laughs> I think I read 17 minutes or 17 seconds and thought it was minutes. I don't know. Uh, I'm just rambling pointlessly now. All right, let's get this other fucking thing off. Shit, I did it again. I keep cussing. I gotta stop doing that. It's unprofessional. I don't think she said it was unprofessional, but she definitely implied it. Love you, Mom.
And I think before I do this, I want to confirm um, that the board is booting because I, the traces that could be damaged here on this other side, those um, will likely just affect image. And the ones on the right side affect booting. So I'm just going to check real quick and see if iTunes will detect this board now. And if it does, then chances are pretty good I have an image problem. If it doesn't, then I can look back a little bit at that first hole and see if I missed something. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it's going to detect. So... Maybe something is incomplete on that right side. Hmm. No. That all looks okay. I think the problem is there. So back to this right side or left side, but right now because I just flipped the board over. I just don't want it to be fucked up over here because this one's a pain in the ass too. Oh, look at that. Spongy all the way back here. Awesome. That is awesome. I love it when they are like this. Look at that. Fucking spongy everywhere. See, there's, there's no way that I can record myself, like, discovering shit like this and not cuss. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, board. Sorry, there's just no way. It's not happening. I may sound unprofessional, but if you think that, you should probably go fuck yourself. Okay, maybe that was going a little too far. I was kidding. Just let that one slide. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just just fall apart. Look at the flaky layers. Thank you, iPhone biscuit. Pillsbury fucking layers. How bad is it going to be? I know this may be a bit dim for the camera. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is unfortunate. That is, that is extremely unfortunate. Um, what, what we're looking at here I'll zoom out a little so maybe the light will help show it. What this is, is on the top it's a trace running here and it ends in a via. And the entire via has ripped out and the pad that's in the second layer that connects the via to the second layer has pulled completely off too. Um, so now I get to do one of my favorite things, which is go hunting down in the third layer of these fucking boards. Because, um, 
because I've got nothing better to do with my time and because it's just my favorite treasure hunt to do is go, let's go exploring. We're just gonna go exploring down in the third layer of this board. See what we find. Maybe some buried treasure. Nope, just more traces. Damn. All right. So that trace was here somewhere. Oh, did you just completely disappear? Of course you did. Of course you did. Why? Why would there be any trace left for me to solder to? That would be nuts. That would be too easy. Let's see if I can get down here and avoid having to like pull this capacitor off. This, this area is still delaminated that I'm working in. So I think that is it. Like that little copper nub is all I have. And I've got to get it to go down to this one which is in the third layer which used to run here to a via that took it up to the second layer which is here Whew. all right look at that that trace has popped up just checking around to see is there any more fucked up shit that I'm going to have to deal with, or is that it? Okay. There's like a loose trace, but it's, it's going to be okay. I'm not going to fuck with it. I'm not going to mess with it. It's going to be fine. This is that, uh, well, no, this isn't. Uh, this is just, it's a, it's a trace, whatever. This is the video trace that can be taken out. Like if it was booting and there was just no video, I'd be looking at this guy. And, you know, maybe, maybe I still will be, but I'm going to try and not do that for now. I'm going to try and just fix this guy right here and see if, uh, if I can end this video and move on to the next repair. Or maybe I'll just be here all night. Who knows? That would be a lot of 30 minute videos to join. Where am I at? 29 minutes, shit. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop now and just start it back up. And we're back. Let's see if I can get away with just doing this one little trace. <laughs> Let's see if I can even do it. Holy crap. I'm like, I'm trying to stick a wire that's like a tenth of a millimeter wide to a trace that's a tenth of a millimeter wide and sticking out just a nub that is like maybe two tenths of a millimeter long. Holy crap. There's too much flux, I can't see. I know I've said before there's no such thing as too much flux, um, but this right now, in this specific, very specific scenario, there's too much flux. I still stand by that statement though. Maybe I can pick some more of this 
top layer away. And just get a little bit more of that trace to grab onto. Do it. Shit, I broke my wire. Ooh, I think I did it. Yep, that is connected. Let's see. Yeah, that is definitely connected. I don't want to mess with it too much. All right, just bend this wire over and get it facing the way I want it to go. Please don't break. Wonder if Kia or Kaya, I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong and he's probably like what a dick. Wonder if you're out there, bud. You wanted me to do some long screw damage videos, and here I am doing it. And there I am fucking pulling my trace off of that shit. <laughs> uh, and this is why you want to expose out beyond the delaminated areas. But in this case, I can't. I can't go any further. All right, got it down again. Oh my God, just, just stick, you, oh, you son of a bitch. Sorry, Mom. said she watches all of my videos but doesn't comment on them because she's like doesn't want to be like oh my boy you're so good at stuff but it's okay mom you can comment if you want to I don't care she's probably just afraid of like, the cesspool that is YouTube comment threads which can't blame her there but mine are mostly tame. I haven't attracted the uh, the people Lewis has. All right, this this is becoming really, really frustrating, and I don't want to have to pull this capacitor off to get the job done but I might if I can't get this here very, very soon. Because what I really don't want to do is spend two hours working on this thing. You were supposed to be easy. You lied to me, you stupid iPhone. Stupid lion iPhone. You were not easy at all. Ah, uh, crap. Now everything's starting to stick to things I don't want it to stick to. And it's all falling apart. This is one of my, like, tricks to doing long screw repair is knowing when to get up and walk away. And we are getting very, very close to that point with this one. All right. What are we working with here? Did I get that tacked down at all over there? I 
think I did. All right, I think we're good. Oh, please, oh, please. I'm gonna just use my tweezers to pick away some of this burned up flux because it really pisses you off when you start running a Q-tip over this and because you've got like burned up goopy flux, your Q-tip just grabs a hold of it and yanks it off along with your jumper that you just very carefully placed. Um, yeah, that is not enjoyable at all. That, that really will cause me to have to get up and walk away before I throw this thing across the room. Gotta know when to say when. All right. I think this is going to work. That is definitely not my prettiest work. Um, I am going to check and see if... Oh, please, oh, please don't be shorted to that capacitor and ground there. All right. That quick beep was just uh, diode mode, like, measurement. Um, it's normal. It would have been a really long beep if there was a short there. It's uh, actually 0 .440 in diode mode, which um, I'm going to say for that line is perfect. So all I got to do is first get rid of any leftover chunks of wire. Very, very important. Take that away, and I see a little guy over here. You want to get him out of there. Um, I'll clean that flux up later. And I think we're good. And look at that. Solved. Booting up. Um, there's no point in letting it finish boot because I know once we see the Apple logo, we're done. Just like with Lewis, this Apple logo is like fan spin. Once that happens, the repair is over, we're done, and thank you, good night. So, uh, thanks for watching. That was. Uh, hopefully informative and um, not really boring. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe um, and whatever else all the YouTube people say before they end their videos. Just fill that in here, pretend like I said it, and uh, see you next time.